What's good, it's your boy JLG here, back at you with another video. And today, I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel. I'm calling it the Weekly Recap for now. I need a better name though, so if you guys want to go down below, give me a name. I'm about to explain what it is, right? So what it is, basically every week I'm going to make one of these. It's going to be a recap and sort of what's coming up. So talking about what's happening in sports, what's coming up in sports, uh, fashion, uh, sneakers, music, all that sort of stuff. Even movies, maybe I'm not even sure yet. But this will be the first episode, first of this series on the channel. So before I get into it, make sure to go down below, hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's get into our first weekly recap. First, let's start off the series talking about some NFL, you know. Let's start off with the sport. Now, obviously, it's a big week in the NFL. At the time I'm recording this video, there's about... 24 hours I believe until free agency begins and there's a lot of big things that have happened So as you are probably all aware by now Odell Beckham Jr. The star player of the Giants has been traded to the Browns for a first round pick a third round pick and Jabril Peppers now I was completely shocked when I first heard about this trade. I thought it was a joke or something like no cap but no it's real and I I hate to say it but Jesus sounds weird OBJ is now a Cleveland Brown. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that just sounds weird, you know, after all the iconic moments he's had with the Giants. To say that just really just doesn't feel right. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about this move. My best guess is the Giants weren't feeling good about him and what's even more strange is the fact that they signed a five year million dollar, five year, 90 million dollar extension just last August. So pretty recently they signed that contract and now I know obviously there's a lot of hype surrounding the move and people are even going as far to call the Cleveland Browns a championship contender. I mean, like, I see their points but I really don't think they're there yet. Uh, I know they have Mayfield, Landry, and now OBJ, but I really think they need to fill out their roster a bit more, get rid of a few of those new names, get some more solid players in before I can really call them a championship contender. Other big moves from the NFL in the last few days include Le'Veon Bell to the Jets. Now, that was pretty big. You know, the Jets, they're, they're pretty big joke of a franchise right now. Hopefully, this can get them right on the back, back on the right track. Antonio Brown to the Raiders. And the release of Blake Bortles after the Jaguars have now acquired Nick Foles. Switching sports now, over in the NBA, the Bucks and Raptors are still battling out for that number one seed. And over in the West, the gap has been closed. And the Rockets, Thunder, and Trailblazers have all caught up to the Warriors and Nuggets, who currently lead the West. Also this week, Russell Westbrook was involved in a verbal confrontation with a fan in his match in Utah. Westbrook can be seen on camera yelling at the fan and his wife and even threatening them. However, according to Westbrook, the fan made extremely nasty and racial comments when he was on the bench. The Utah fan was later made that was later received a lifetime ban from all future jazz games and Russ was fined 25,000. What's your opinion on the situation? Let me know down in the comments section below. Now let's switch it up and talk about the upcoming sneaker releases. The first is the three easy colorways that will be region exclusive. Europe will be getting the true form colorway, America the clay colorway and the hyperspace will be released, the colorway will be releasing in Asia and Australia. All three of these Yeezys will be releasing on Saturday the 16th for $220 US. Now obviously these shoes will be quite profitable with pre-sale prices as high as 500 US on StockX. Another highly anticipated sneaker dropping this week is the Kyrie 5 Duke. We haven't seen a Kyrie Duke colorway since a 3, and personally, I much prefer this one. It just looks much nicer and less of a novelty sort of branded sneaker, if you know what I mean. And that blue flame look coming up on the shoe is just amazing. By the way, that is a great job you do with that Nike. Now, as far as resale, so far they don't look like the most profitable, profitable sneaker. 
So you might be able to make $20, some lunch money on these, but I wouldn't recommend going for these strictly for resale. The only really thing you'd be able to do is a quick flip and, you know, that's only going to be lunch money, as I said. However, I do believe these will increase in value as time goes on, but I don't think it'll be significant. And if you only have $300 on you and you want to invest that in one sneaker that you can make more money back on, I, I wouldn't do it on these because you're going to get your money back plus a little bit more, but it's not going to be significant to the point where you want to use your only amount of money on that, if you know what I mean. However, if you are going for these as a personal pair, as a personal cop, then 100% do not sleep on these because I can pretty much guarantee that they will sell out. So do not sell on these. Make sure that you're ready on the website that they're releasing. They should be releasing on the sneakers app and nike.com or if your local store is getting them, make sure to be there a few hours before they open up at least. I don't know if you're going to camp out for them. That's up to you. But I would not sleep on these if I were you. As far as music, we don't really have that much dropping this week. However, Juice World did just drop his second album named A Death Race For Love, which I have not listened to yet, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. A lot of people telling me I should really listen to it. So comment down below if you have listened to it, what you think of it, uh, your favourite song. But I have not listened to that yet. Apart from that, there's not really much coming up this week. So that's pretty much all for music. And that, guys, brings me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you do like this series, because I'm trying to make this a weekly thing. I think it's a good idea. I'm going to hopefully implement a few more things, like some fashion. We did have the Supreme Stone Island drop this week, which I didn't really get into D. I didn't really discuss that, because it's already happened, so you can't really get it. Um, and I want to try and get into a little bit of movie talk as well. I know the Avengers movie is coming out soon, so I might talk about release when it's releasing and a bit more information in that soon or when it comes out. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to slap a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, and while you're down there, hit that notification bell just so you're notified every single time I post another banger video. And until next time, guys, peace. So to the seats, launch to the breeze, milk before cheese, the same way the weather turned to degrees. It's growth, man, hard to cope, man. I ease my mind right with the dope strands to keep me woke, and I've been thinking lately, how the fuck this world gets so crazy? Been taken over by 